whenever I would sit in the female OPD, I would see any patient would be so comfortable to come to a female doctor for any breast examination. So I felt that if I could cater to this part of the population specifically, that would help me as well as them in the long run. So I went for it. And thanks to Speed, because it was just me. I was the only student, but still sir and the entire team made their time out to help me out how I'm supposed to go on with the interview session. I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. So Ramita much. Mukherjee for scoring a topmost rank of rank number four in AML, in MCH breast and endocrine surgery, in any SS session number 2023. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Great, doctor. Now, uh, can we know your brief background from where you started till date, what all you have done? So I did my uh, MBBS from Kasturba Medical College, Mangalore. Then I did my MS from Manil Rotham Sharkar Medical College, Kolkata, NRS. And now I'm going for this. And uh, my preparation, it was, I really liked breast and thyroid. That is the reason, like whatever I would have taken, had it not been this, then I would have gone through plastic to breast, some way or the other, it was breast. So. Thankfully, this has happened. That's about it. Great. Now, why MCH breast and endocrine? I mean, who inspired you? Why, from where you got that, in spite of so many specialities? Why this specialty? Sir, yes, sir. Actually, uh, whenever I would uh, sit in the female OPD, I would see any patient would be so comfortable to come to a female doctor for any breast examination. So, I felt that if I could cater to this part of the population specifically that would help me as well as them in the long run. So I went for it and thyroid, I really liked to study thyroid. Basically, it's about breast and thyroid for me. Yes, very, very good uh, outlook and thought process about what you have conceived. I mean, I mean that's a very, very important uh, critical point. And uh, was there, could be one of the reasons why we are missing out early breast cancers. Uh, True for the delay in uh, diagnosis for the reason that you have mentioned appropriately. And uh, so if this could be uh, some trend that could be followed and uh, and more people could also opt for Definitely. the speciality, opt for a speciality and you could inspire and be a role model to convince a lot of people to come in and to do the speciality they wanted. Okay. Thank you, sir. Now we want to know what all you did, how you did to achieve, because we know that number of seats are very limited. And I uh, mean, how you could uh, work towards it? Was your primary exam, was uh, ENES's exam or a NEET exam? Can you share on that? Yes, sir. Actually, the thing is, I have been doing my SR shift. This is, I just passed on 28th of June, 2023. So, sir, from second year only, what anybody should do is, they should just start reading the books, the main books that we have. That is Bailey and Love, Sabiston and Schwartz. So if somebody is interested in something, then definitely every line should be caught by that person. The words are very important of the books. It's not like someone has to read like those really big books to come and crack breast and everything, <clears throat> nothing like that. It totally depends on the basics. If anybody reads between the lines of these three books, I think I did that. I mean, I should not be telling that to anybody, but that is what I did. I really did not follow that much of Orlo Clark. Once in a while, I would refer to it, but not more than that. My books were these three books. And definitely others, sir. And especially in the end, I had been calling and I had been texting you also that please arrange for an interview session for me because I have no idea how this works. And thanks to Speed because it was just me. I was the only student, but still, sir, and the entire team made their time out to help me out how I'm supposed to go on with the interview session, which was very helpful for me because I had no idea. Okay. And definitely my teachers, they, <laughs> their ward rounds, I mean, it's different. So can you share some of your experiences in an interview? What was your uh, expectation? What did they ask I and mean, how do you able to handle them? So the first thing is really be calm. That's what other sir said and you said. Just before INISS exam, you said this is a 
an exam to go and just play and be happy and just give the exam there is nothing to be serious about it's about the entire year that you have worked that really has that mindset should be there nothing else is needed at that point of time some people will ask you basics like really basics about maybe tyrads or the basics about thyroid or early breast cancer and there will be some questions which are very tough to answer like trials which we do not really have the entire idea about entirely some trials will be known but many trials will not be known the recent most specifically because we did not get the time to go through so many trials and it's very tough to remember so that's about it the basics some information on trials that's it very good how many questions did you attend this exam i attempted 78 Okay, almost close to. I still left too. You <laughs> said attempt all, but then I was like, it's fine. I really don't know <laughs> this. I'll just leave it. Now the message. What is the message that you want to give to students who are aspiring for MCH, breast and endocrine surgery? Read basics. Read your main books first. They have everything if you read in between the lines, and just be calm and go and give the exam happily. it totally depends on how you've studied from your first year to your third year that's about it great now time to thank whom all you want to thank that they have been with you till date so first of all you because uh, i mean there are many videos and i would still refer to your videos of all the parts of uh, surgery be it ctvs be it general surgery be it anything and then others so definitely and my parents my friends my lovely juniors and definitely my visiting surgeons they have helped me and supported me like anything throughout from first year to third year and even now actually <laughs> wonderful doctor i mean it was very very brief and we shared a lot of important aspects one student could aspire and could look for once again we wish you all the best for a great career ahead in mch breast and endocrine that is the most uh, passionate subject that you wanted and you have with yes, you today. wish you all the best and all the success thank you thank you so much sir thank, thank you, you.